Darling, seriously, what is wrong with escape rooms? Who says that those can't be romantic? You told me to pick a date, so I did. What's so wrong with this? Oh dear, I have you know that escape rooms can actually be quite romantic. After all, you are trapped in there for like an hour, 30 minutes, unable to do anything else but be together and try to work with each other. That promotes communication, quality time, and teamwork. All traits that should be in a relationship. So, I think this is actually the perfect date, thank you very much. And another thing, it's a very big interest of mine. I've done a lot of escape rooms, even before meeting you. So, it would mean a lot to me if you could join in on this one. And seeing how this is actually a prison escape room, if you ever find yourself locked up for god knows what reason, you'll have perfect knowledge as to how to escape. Silence. It works. Just trust me. <laughs> no, dear, I'm not talking out of experience. I'd be a bit more... explodey. <laughs> So, are you ready to go in? I promise you it's gonna be fun, dear. And if you manage to escape with me, I'll even reward you for doing this with me. <laughs> and why would I tell you what I would reward you with? That ruins the surprise, silly. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's go. Oh, and I think my friend's working here today. Oh, it's been a while since I paid her a visit. This should be fun. Hey, Debbie. <laughs> oh, we go way back. She's a sweetheart. A very bitchy sweetheart. <laughs> Hi. How can I help you? Oh, Debbie, you don't have to treat me like a customer, darling. We go way back, don't we? <laughs> uh, shut up. Why are you here? I'm here because I overheard your last client talking about how good your services were. So I thought maybe I should pop in and see how much you're charging. Uh, you're pushing it already, Bella. Aw, you're so good at saying my name when your mouth isn't full, dear. I am not a fucking sex worker, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Could afford me. <sighs> Why are you like this? It's great to see you too, darling. How have you been? Ugh, <sighs> the usual. Oh, come on, you can be a bit more social than that, Deb. What the fuck do you want me to tell you, Bella? I am at this dumb fuck job part-time while trying to get my degree, while also getting fucked up on weekends so I can have at least some sort of fun in between of fucking overdue assignments and bullshit exams and having to deal with stupid fucks on the phone with this stupid fucking job. And now, I have to deal with this stupid fucking bitch in front of me, not telling me why the fuck she's here. You haven't had a lunch break yet, have you? No, I fucking haven't, and it's driving me insane! <laughs> yeah, I've seen you act like this before. But don't worry. I think I can help you out there. You can help me out by telling me what your reservation is, so I can get you in that stupid fucking box and monitor you for fun. How about that? Oh, please, I'll finish this place in 15 minutes. Oh, 15? So we're gonna ignore the last time we went to an escape room together then? And how it Can it, around. bitch? <laughs> Just saying. And I don't want to hear it. Now, two for the prison break escape room, please. Damn, I feel sorry for you. Having to be in a room with her all alone. Who knows what could happen? Um, Debs, what exactly are you insinuating? All right. It's a one hour, 30 minute session. Are you ready to go in? Not just yet, bitch. What exactly were you saying? <sighs> Please. I know you, Bella. Hmm. Is that so? Well then, you'll be able to do me a solid, won't you? I'm not helping you measure it again. Uh, uh that wasn't what I was going to ask you. Oh, thank God. Um... That was a while ago, by the way, dear. Before I knew you. <laughs> Anyways, 
I think I know a way to get you that break you need. Mm. Okay. I'm listening. I'll give you a pack of cigarettes and my lighter. Seeing how it doesn't seem like you've had a smoke in a while, otherwise I would instantly smell the wharf around you. And when you let us in, you can just leave us- Deal. I'm the only schmuck on job today, so I can get away with it. Unless I really fucking need a cig. God. Perfect. Now, could you be so kind to lead us to our room? <sighs> Whatever. I kinda have to do this whole speech thing. So, here it goes. You have been locked up for a crime that you didn't commit. Instead of reasoning with you, they sentenced you to life in jail. What you need to do now is break out. Good luck. Ooh, bravo, bravo, Debs. You're amazing at this. Fuck you, Bella. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm, not quite yet, actually. I think you need to put a bit more oomph into your character, dear. You are fucking pushing it, Bella. Oh, dearie me. I've gone and made the police warden upset. Oh, cut it the fuck oh, out. I'm so sorry for being such a bad girl. Oh, please don't. Please, show me to myself. Oh. I promise I'll be on my best behavior. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just get in. <sighs> so assertive. Fine. Your wish is my com- Hold on, bitch. Huh? Six. Now. Oh, sorry, Debs. Here you go. About fucking time. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Fuck off. Oh, and another thing? What? You should smile more. You should go fuck yourself. <laughs> Thanks for this, by the way. Anytime, Debs. <sighs> well... It's just you and me now, sweetie. So, uh, any ideas as to where to start? Oh, I... I dare to say I was the professional, huh? Well, I better start looking around. For... clues. Uh... huh? Oh, don't worry. Will be done before the time is even up. I just need to find the first clue. Come on, look around with me. Find a clue. What is this? I. Shit, I don't think I was supposed to pull on that. Okay. Uh... Oh, come on. Oh, I found a book. Um. Yeah, I'm going to flick through it and see if you can find anything else. Oh. Um, the only thing I found out is that this book is fucking stupid. <sighs> oh, what's that? Hmm. Hey, these have numbers on them. Uh... Uh, we need to find some sort of code pad to put these numbers in, maybe. Uh, God, this is a drag. I mean, uh, no, don't worry, we'll be okay. I know what I'm doing. They always do these. Um, okay, so we have a watch, and we have some numbers. Let's see if this watch means anything. Okay, the hand, the long hand is on 8, short hand is on 10, and the hour hand is on 3. Now we just need to find some sort of pad or lock to put this in. One with four numbers, obviously. 8103. Oh, but it might be a different combination. Ah, oh, shit. It's annoying. Oh, this room is annoying. Uh, oh, well, look at you, darling. While I'm over here losing my mind, you're getting shit done. Good job. Bring it here for me, won't you? Thank you, darling. Now, I'll try a few of these combinations and see if they work. Which, realistically, they should, and if they don't, then it's fucking rigged. 
Now then, mm, let's try this one. <sighs> yep, of course it wouldn't be the first. Fine. You know, I've noticed you don't really look like you believe in the process. Do you really think that I would let us get stuck here? That, that was rhetorical, darling. Please, I've done plenty of these before. Uh, well, okay, I've done like two or three before. And of course they went well, sweetie. Why wouldn't they have? What do you mean it looks like I'm clueless? Please, me? I'm just... I'm just trying to make it fun for the both of us. It wouldn't be very fun if I just did everything, right? That stupid fucking code. Uh, <laughs> please, I am not bullshitting you. The reason that we're here is to have fun and, you know, spend some quality time together. I know that I've been a bit caught up with work and I've just been so stressed and pent up and I just need someone to be there for me. So now we're locked in a room together and we can't escape until we figure things out, which means we have around an hour 25 or something to just be with each other and help each other de-stress. I wasn't implying anything. I don't know what you're on about. Now be a doll for me, sweetie, and look at the bookshelves over there. Maybe the books will have some numbers in them. Oh, come on, sweetie. I'm not talking about page numbers. I'm talking about numbers that stand out. Really? You gotta get your head in the game. You gotta think outside the box. Come on, go look for me. And I will look around too. Let's see. Uh, right, so this book is fucking useless. What else is there? Mm, there's so many things to look at. So many things to look at, but I don't know exactly where to start. Only stressing me out more. Um, let's see. Come on. How about this? Maybe it has something underneath? <sighs> nope. God damn it. How about this? Something underneath? Maybe it's got something inside. Mm, yeah, no. Fuck. <sighs> How about this? <sighs> Anything inside? Definitely not. A piece of paper. How about this? I think I found something. I... False alarm, dear. Apparently fucking not. <sighs> this room is hard. To think it's the first out of eight. Yes, eight rooms. I'm very sure I didn't stutter. Well, this room is hard. You can't blame me. <sighs> Fine, then what do you suggest we do? Just sit here and wait? Well, as much as I'd love to escape, neither of us seem very capable of doing so. <sighs> well, I thought it would be fun. I mean, I find this quite entertaining, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the look on your face and the way you're panicking about all of this, even though we can make light of this situation. It's so cute. Mm, yeah, I have a few ideas. I don't know. I don't think you're ready for my ideas, darling. I don't think you can handle them. Mmm. I like that. <laughs> well, Debs is on her smoke break and she'll probably give us extra time because she knows me. So, no prying eyes, just us in a room for like two hours. <laughs> Can you pick up what I'm putting down, sweetie? <laughs> well, I mean, I'll tell you what I'll do, but... Best of fun in that. Actions speak louder than words. That 
If you really want a little teaser, I can provide that for you. Hello, my darling. I really hope you all enjoyed that audio. I'm very sorry for how little I've been able to record and put out audios. Um, for those who don't know, I am really sick lately. I have a stomach bug and uh, I think a flu or something because of the fucking season change. And it's been absolutely running me down. But I'm still doing my absolute best to, um, you know, get through with this and, and try to uh, get the audios out um, and so on and so forth. I tried something a little new with this, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think of the characters and this theme and the setting of everything. Um, and yeah, that's all I, all I have for you guys. So, oh wait, actually no, I have to ask a question. Um, okay, 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 okay. Escape rooms, let's stay on the topic of escape rooms. All right, if you guys were locked in a certain escape room, what it, which one do you think you're going to be getting out of like 100% of the time, like 110,000% of the time, like like without question, without a doubt, you're just going to easily get out of there. Um, For me, uh, motherfucking like prison, bro. I got to admit, bro, like I, uh, I'm, I'm really experienced in prison breaks. Don't ask why, bro, but just trust me. <laughs> That's all from me, my darlings. Remember, you're all doing very, very well. I'm very, very proud of you. Keep chasing your dreams and keep taking things one day at a time. You are doing amazing. That's all she wrote, my darlings.